you very much, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, Vice President. Uh, and thanks to everyone who took part uh, in this debate. And specifically, I would like to thank all the uh, rapporteurs who, or the shadow rapporteurs who have worked on this file and made it a better text. Um, they were all very constructive and, and helped produce a report, which I hope will gain uh, a broad majority in the vote tomorrow. Let me also very briefly respond to some of the critical comments, um, and specifically uh, to, to, to Mr. Fest, who is uh, somehow suggesting that this is a disingenuous exercise because we don't criticize Turkey or, or some African republics. Now, obviously, I would love if both Turkey and, and, and countries in our neighborhood subscribe to the same rule of law mechanism and conditionality that we have here. But I mean, that's not possible. And I think to have credibility externally, we precisely need to do this uh, at home to make sure that our member states subscribe to the values and principles of the EU. And to Madam Kempa, who is suggesting that somehow uh, I don't like Poland or I'm being manipulated. First of all, uh, this is nothing against Poland. I, I'm being a Slovak. Obviously, I consider Poles to be my you know, brotherly nation. The problem is with the, Polish, the current Polish government. And it's just not just me saying that. It's the European Commission, it's the European Court of Justice, it's the Council of Europe, and all sorts of other uh, organizations. So there's no, there's no conspiracy against Poland. Finally, I would like to thank both uh, uh, Vice President Jourova and Commissioner Reinders uh, for, for their commitment for the rule of law report that they presented, which indeed is a historic step forward that must be acknowledged. Uh, the, the issue that we have and the proposal that we uh, are putting forward is to make it stronger, to make a clear link with enforcement and further action, obviously to enlarge the scope, but also to, to put it on solid legal grounds through an interinstitutional agreement, which the parliament can propose, because there might be commissioners after you who will not have the same kind of commitment uh, there might be a presidency after which will not have the same kind of commitment. So we want to have something that is solid and which all three institutions uh, can, uh, can have joint ownership of. Thank you very much.